What's up, car family? Happy Thursday, almost to the weekend. Um, hope everybody's doing good. Um, gonna do a quick video today. Um, I got a package in the mail from uh, baseball collector Mike, and he reached out to me. He watched one of my videos a week or two ago, and he's like, I need your address. I got something I want to send you. I think it's something related to me being a Cowboys fan. And um, yeah, so dude, super cool, super excited. Whatever it is, um, he, he's like, I hope you like it. And that's not even what it's about. I mean, dude, I appreciate you sending this. Whatever it is, if it's a piece of candy at Halloween, I appreciate that. Um, but I, I want to take the time to say something. You know, I always make these PSAs about the community and whatnot, um, about getting to know each other. And like Mike is a lot of times kind of one of the people I'm talking about and you know we got all these I've talked about this before i know i'm boring people but we got all these clicks baseball guys football guys the card family the, all this mess and when you take the time to get to know someone like all that stuff doesn't matter and so i met mike at nationals um well let me back up so i'll back up to when he did the uh, youtube hall of fame and the controversy with that and like at that time, um, I, I unsubbed Mike because I want. I was like, I don't want to be involved in the drama. I don't even want to deal with it. And you don't know what you're missing out on until you get to know someone. So I met him at nationals, had a chance to chat with him, and we're all the same. He's just like really good dude. Loves cards. Loves making videos. Um, yeah. So. Just take the time. Like, you know, don't write people off because they're in a different community than you. They collect differently than you. They collect different things. They make videos. Whatever. Like, get to know people. Um, Mike's channel is fantastic. Um, he's got an insane collection. Um, and he has a lot of great information on his channel, too. So I'd encourage you to check him out, Baseball Collector. Um, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And hey, let's get into what he sent. Um, I don't know. He spent $14.35 just to mail this. And check this out. Just on camera. That's how it came. I had to, I went and picked it up at the post office. Um, they wouldn't leave it at the house. So we're going to get into this and see what's in here. Super excited. It's Halloween. Got off work a little early today. Gonna take my son trick or treating. Again, Mike, thanks in advance. Didn't have to send me anything, or whatever it is. Greatly appreciate it, dude. Empty box. Whatever this is, is in one of these hidden treasures game day greats football autographed jersey boxes. I'm pretty darn certain he didn't send an autographed jersey. I'm hoping he just. Sent this in the box. You know what I'm saying? Um, hmm. Wow. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> you hope I like it? Um, holy camoly. You hope I like it. Um, let's see what he sent here. Dude, this is incredible. I cannot believe you sent this. Um, wow. Wow, dude. I am absolutely blown away. And I definitely encourage you all to get to know people. And so this is Mel Renfro. Five-time All-Pro Selection, 10-time Pro Bowl, 70 Pro Bowl co-MVP, two-time Super Bowl champion, Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor, uh, Collegiate Football University of Oregon, College Football Hall of Fame 86, Pro Football Hall of Fame 96. Um, TriStar Authentic, and I've never owned one of these. Um, and as you can see in silver ink, Mel Renfro, Hall of Fame 96. I've never owned one, dude. This, I'm going to crack this out of, the box, out of the packaging. I don't know if I'm supposed to. If I should, but I'm going to. Man, I am blown away, Mike. Holy cow, man. 
Um, shoo. Look at this. Renfro. You see the beautiful autograph there? There's the tri-state thing that goes with their certificate. Man, I am blown away. I cannot believe you sent this, man. Why? Why doesn't this work in your collection? <laughs> man, I don't know what to say, Mike. I really appreciate that, man. That is just absolutely gorgeous. And it, man, it kind of ties into something too. And and I'll show this really quick. I don't think this will take too long. So I'm just going to keep the camera rolling rather than stop and pull this out. But while I was at Nationals, the same Nationals that um, where I met Mike, this was one of my pickups. Uh, let's see. I'm looking through my PSA. Pick that up at National. Mel Renfro. Autograph. 1970 tops. So those go really well together, dude. Um, man. I really did not think you had stuck a jersey in there. And he's a Cowboys fan, too. Um, that is sweet, man. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to... Buy one of those frames that you frame these things in and do this thing right, man. I'm going to do this justice. I'll take a picture of it and show it to you when I get it in my uh, in my card room, man. What a beautiful piece, man. I will absolutely cherish this. Um, wow, dude. Blown away. So, <laughs> that's awesome. He sent his email... I just hope you like what I sent. And I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't know why I would not. Um, I also, I have an 8x10 autograph. Heck, let me grab it. Yeah, this I have an 8x10 autograph of Mel Renfro also. So, obviously a player that I collect and like. Um, yeah. Yeah blown away man what do you say when you get stuff like this just absolutely blown away mike thank you keep doing what you're doing man um it's been great getting to know you um we collect different but we're we're, we're similar we're we're all just we're all just regular dudes enjoying a hobby and enjoying sports so um thank you again i uh, appreciate y'all watching keep it real i'm out